Greetings everyone, my name is Rola Suko and welcome to my lair. I'm making this video because I wanted to talk about horror games. That lately I've been having a discussion with my friends about that more specifically about Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6. They were telling me that ah, it's a horror game, let's play, you like horror games, right? right? I said, yeah, but uh, those games are not horror games. I said, why not? The argument is that it's Resident Evil, so it's horror game. And no matter how I look at them, how much I play, it's not horror in any way. It's just uh, you, you and your character guns blazing in, in the scenario. First, we have to understand what is horror. And the dictionary here says it's an, an overwhelming and painful feeling caused by something frightfully shocking, terrifying or revolting, a shuddering fear. Okay, so basically it's a psychological stuff. What does a horror game need to be considered horror? I say. So, so some of them were telling me that uh, it's because there there are monsters in. It. So, no, it can't be only because there are monsters. If it's only because of there there are monsters, then Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon and Mario and Monster Hunter should, would all be horror games. Other were telling me that. Oh, it's because the the dark atmosphere and the explicit violence. No, the, the, that alone isn't enough as well. So that was Diablo 3 and Devil May Cry, even Spec Ops or Ma Max Payne would be considered horror games. Oh, yes. Others were saying that you gotta put undeads and that doesn't make a horror game as well. Or else Zelda, Onimusha, even Minecraft and Warcraft would be considered horror games. Let's pick a horror game that we all know. Take Slender and Amnesia. What there you find in Slender that you won't find in, say, Resident Evil 5? There, there's no comparison. Besides the villain, there are no enemies, no plot, no health bar, no point system, no inventory, no weapons, no items. Uh, unless you consider the pages items. It's just you, the villain, and the eight pages between them. Slender delivers. When it comes to horror, it delivers. It's something that Resident Evil 4, 5, or 6 never did. What is that there? There is in Slender and uh, Amnesia, that which are pretty good horror games, that there isn't in Resident Evil. What about other horror games that are considered good? What what do they have that make them good horror games? Like uh, The Calling, Photo Frame. Okay, one thing these games all have in common is the protagonist. They, the protagonist is usually someone that you can relate to. A photographer or a journalist or archaeologist, whatever. But he's not some huge guy with military training that doesn't fear anything. Take Doom 3. We, Doom 3, you're a, some badass soldier, doesn't fear anything. You walk around with grenades and 10 different weapons, one stronger than the, than the other. And an artifact that kills anything you want. That's hardly a scary game to me. It has some jump scares, but it's not a horror game when you play like this. In Amnesia, you are Daniel. He's an archaeologist. He's not nobody special. He's just an archaeologist. The Resident Evil, the first ones, the Silent Hill, Amnesia, Slender, Photo Frame, Calling. They are. They have a protagonist that you can relate to as a normal person. It's in an environment you don't understand, and you are powerless against the enemies and the villain. Even that silence is uh, is already scary. It's kind of creepy. It's always at night time in those games. So how was Resident Evil One, Two, Three, Code Veronica, Zero, and the remake? All was pretty good in being horror games. How? Why they were good horror games back then and not not now? What was the transition? Well, back then uh, the character like Leon and Claire, they they were somebody you could identify more with. It's not the same with the, the current Resident Evils that we have. They have to put a lot of enemies because you're actually you're going to kill everybody you find. One of the things that made the Resident Evil 
going from horror to action. One was repetition. Right? After a few games, we already know what to expect from it. They say that uh, we fear what we don't understand or we, what we don't know. Well, true enough. It's not gonna be much of a surprise when you know what's come, what you already know what you expect from a game. That it's this it's not it's not just Resident Evil. We, it's this thing with Silent Hill and Fatal Frame and others. Resident Evil may have started as a horror. You can say that. Resident Evil is a horror game when there is no horror in it. It's like calling, a, calling it a chocolate cake with no chocolate in it. It's a lie. I love horror games. They are my favorite genre. And I hope to see better ones. Well, oh, and then that's pretty much concludes my vlog. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Rolesuko. I hope to see you again.